Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, and in this session we'll be learning how to create coordinate systems for turning parts and for mill turn parts. If we take a look at this part that we have on our screen, you'll note this part has several operations that have to be done on it. It needs to be turned, as shown over here, including these radiuses over here, and it also has to be milled as well. So to do this, I'll be using a mill turn machine. Now, it should be noted that a mill turn machine can also be used just for turning, and it can also be used just for milling. Now, before I continue, let me advise you of some of the preparations that are helpful to be done before you actually start machining the part. One, there are certain sketches that will be helpful to build. For example, if I were to take, uh, let's say, my front view, you'll see that I've made three different sketches. My first sketch being this line over here. My second sketch being this box over here. And my other, next last sketch being this line, this box over here. This line over here represents the boundary material that I will have and I built it so that it's a specific measurement fr away from the edge and this point is away from this face and this point over here is away from this face. I've also created another sketch this one over here which is my uh, chuck which I need to also uh, make a sketch of What's important to note is that the chuck is actually touching the boundary material itself. And my third sketch that I've created over here is a box on the other side. This is, if you need it for a back spindle, this will be my back spindle of the part itself. Note that I have my back spindle exactly touching the material itself because that's exactly where I wanted to go on to and also the area over here how far in I want my chuck to go on the part exactly where I want that chuck to sit for my back spindle. Now we'll start off in SolidCam and we'll create a new part for mill turn and I'll accept the location and we now are ready to start defining our coordinate system. You'll note that I'll be using a CNC controller. In this particular case, I'll be using the Integrex E410H, but this is obviously I can choose from, from a numerous number of machines, also one that's specifically specified for what I need. My coordinate system starts as follows. Choosing my coordinate system is very similar to choosing coordinate system as we did in milling. In this particular case, I'd like to have my first coordinate system to be the one for turning. When I do that, what's important for me to do is to make sure that I am at the center of revolution face. Once I've done that, all I have to do is simply click on the wall of the diameter and I will automatically get a home position at the center of that face at the top. Now sometimes we have a condition where the, uh, or we may even actually want it, that the home position is not on this side but rather on the opposite side. All I have to do here is just simply say change to opposite and it flips around to the other side. But in this particular case I want to back in the front, so I'll just simply say change to original. And we now have a home position, our first home position over here. The moment I accept this, if I was just doing turning, just in the turning operation, this window would not pop up. But since I am working in mill turn, I can also use this coordinate system position for milling as well as turning. Therefore, I have all this information here just like I had it in milling. I'll simply say, okay. Now, to create another home position for my milling operation, say for this one, all I have to do, just like in milling, 
simply right click add another home position and we're back in the same field and I can simply click on any surface I want there are many times however that people would like to have their home position even though I click it on the face they'd like to have it sitting in the middle just rotated to that position all I have to do for that is simply choosing the option over here place the coordinate system origin to my co first coordinate system and the moment I touch this face you'll see that I'll get a new coordinate system according to that particular face I'll simply say OK and we have a new coordinate system exactly with all the information and you'll note that my part upper level and my part lower level is the is exactly according to the center of the part itself I'll simply say OK and to create more all I have to do is simply click and create more on each side we now have two coordinate systems our second position as you see here and we also have our first position which can be used for uh, milling as well as for turning so if I had holes here to be drilled for instance on these surfaces for example I can also use that uh, the, the turning position the Mac 1 position uh, for milling as well I'll simply say OK and now I'm ready to create my material boundary we'll discuss the use of stock creating material boundary uh, main spindle back spindle and target model in our second part of this lesson thank you for joining us on solid professor take care and have a nice day